recording. Sweet. Because these horsemen ride with the sound side, with heads like thunder, the rock will go by. We have no mercy to be far and wide. What's up, everybody? It's Chase here. So, First and foremost, I want to go ahead and say thank you so much to everybody who's been watching these videos. You guys are amazing. Please, 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 if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. Leave a like, comment if you want. I'm not going to tell you to like the video because who knows, you might not like the video. If that's the case, leave a th thumbs down. I don't care. Whatever. Anyways, so today we are going to open a really, really cool item that I have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. It's something that I've always wanted, something that I've been looking at getting literally for years and we're gonna see what it is. And that is oh, this 10C Evo. We're gonna try and put it on this helmet. All right, so I'm not gonna do like a crazy wild unboxing or anything for this because there are a bunch of YouTube videos unboxing this thing, but we'll go ahead and we'll pull it out. There is the actual unit itself, has the 4K camera on the front, and then uh, we got all of the other stuff. Uh, comes with the USB port, comes with a crap load of cables, boom mics, speakers, stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to fit it the helmet and see how that looks. All right, boys and girls, so that's it. So that thing is on there. I kind of just put it on at a whatever type thing just so I can mess with it. I'm gonna go ahead and just like download the app, go ahead and put it on my phone, which I need and I'm recording on, so I can't do that part, but it will be, you know, placed in the right spot. I'm not sure about this microphone. It kind of was real finicky getting it on there, but the rest of the install was very, very simple, very easy, straightforward. We will go and get a good ride test going. All right. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna be testing this thing out, see how it goes. Make sure we're safe here. Good to go. Pull on one out. Cool, making it. So this is a test to see how well the audio is going to be picked up here because I am wearing a three quarter helmet, obviously. Now, I know some people are gonna be like, Chase, you're dumb. You have a full face helmet. You should have just used that. Well. Here's my thought process. This headset comes with a few different mounting units. And I already have an intercom on the other headset that I can record with. So what I plan to do is use this intercom system in this helmet with the camera. And then I have the other intercom system already in the other helmet and I can mount this camera to that as well because all I have to do is just easily switch it from this to that. Essentially, I should have two helmets able to record visual and audio. If I really, really wanted to, I could also put this on my smaller half helmet. I would not be able to record audio with it, but it would be cool to have, just to have it you know, there and to see whatever, get B-roll footage, anything like that. So this thing is actually really cool. It has... Bluetooth, obviously, so it can connect to your phone. You can make phone calls, you can listen to music, anything like that. It also has a FM radio in it, which I've only listened to the radio a couple of times here, but so cool to have, like, if your phone dies or something and you need 
some tunes. You can always go out and get something on the radio dial. It has this camera button on top right here. So you hit that and I have it set up to burst shot. So right now, since we're recording in 1080, it will do the camera shot. And basically if I hit that button, it'll take like three or five pictures in a row or something like that, even while you're recording, which is pretty neat. So if you see something cool, you can just take a picture of it. So I really want to see what this thing is like on the FDR. It's like a expressway, but I want to see what it's like on that just to see what the wind speeds can kind of get up to with this three quarter setup. I can also get a different style of windscreen for it, which would help to. Whoa, what are you doing? Come on. See, this is the kind of stuff that I wanted to show you because people just are like assholes. There's no reason that guy needed to stop. I get that he was trying to be nice or whatever, but dude, the other guy was just standing on the corner. This is my secret way to FDR. It's kind of cool. You can go down to 96 and then there's a way to get on, but it's always crowded and just a traffic mess. It's a pain. This way is amazing. It just puts you right on. All right, I'm gonna have to sneak by these guys here. Are we gonna make this? 10 seconds, you got it. Woo, dude. All right, here we go. We're gonna see how it looks today. Some days it's real bad, especially down towards 71st Street, just because everyone's trying to get on and off. Let's see if somebody will let me in here. There we go. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's a little crowded today. Here we go. Oh, there's another guy behind me. Yeah, so that's lane splitting, and that's really illegal here. Jesus Christ, dude, because of shit like that. I know that's legal in California. I think it's legal in another couple states. But in New York, it is very illegal to do that, and I don't do it. I know in California, whenever I was out there, the streets were way wider than this. So it made kind of sense for lane splitting and stuff like that. But here it's just, they were not made for that kind of thing. Let's see if we can get over here. As you can see, today is a beautiful day for riding motorcycles. I just wish it was better than this. Oh yeah, this is great. Smells like ass. Coming over? You coming over? No? Okay. Just having your blinker on for no reason? You got it. So once again, thank you so much to everybody who liked the last couple of videos, who watched them, who subscribed, everything like that. That's really, really awesome. There was a comment on one of the videos from another vlogger out here who works in New York and he lives, I think, in New Jersey now, which would be great when people are able to meet up again if we were able to get together and go ride and we're stopped. If you guys liked that logo, the Whiskey Chaser design, that was designed by my good old friend, Steven, who is the owner of Plunk Designs, a graphic design company. He is based out of Florida, but obviously since his work is digital, it can go anywhere. So if you need something done, you should definitely go check him out. Also, what about that intro, huh? That music? That band is called The Native Howl, and they are a folk bluegrass thrash metal band. They invented this new genre called thrash grass, and they are incredible. These guys are amazing musicians. They are doing amazing things with this genre that they've come up with. It is just awesome. Whenever I thought about Man, I need a theme song. It was 
the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, oh, I need to get a hold of Native Howl and see if they will let me use one of their songs. And so they did. And they said, yeah, man, go right on ahead. And you can believe me that I'm gonna. All right, so now that we're past 71st, 70th, whatever it is, this is where we can actually start to pick up a little bit most of the time. This Camry behind me is just all over the place. Speed limit on this thing is 40 miles an hour. Most of the time you're not going 40. Most of the time you're going between like 15 and 30. At least there's not any stoplights or anything like that. So you do get through a little bit quicker. It is what it is. Oh, some water just hit me in the face. <laughs> I guess that would be the advantage of having a full face helmet, huh? You don't get hit in the face. <laughs> that was dumb. I'm assuming that the wind noise right now is gonna be ridiculous. Hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, we're going 45 right now. If it is, may just have to concede and use the full face helmet, but I just don't like using the full face helmet as much. I like using these three quarter shell and half shells because they just allow you to get more air, experience, you know, this beautiful weather. That's a cool helicopter. Guy was riding with his mask on. <laughs> I don't mind wearing the masks. I really don't. It's not that big of a deal for me, but I don't, I'm not gonna ride my bike with my mask on. It's like driving a car with it on. Let me over. There we go. So this is, you gotta watch out for this little slot right here. So this is interesting, which is this right here is actually a two-way street. They paved over it because it was terrible and they haven't put the lines back in. Nobody seems to know this is a two-way street anymore. And people just like drive on that side right there, which is against traffic dude there's like a guy who just like passed me the other day just right here and i'm like bro you are literally going into traffic right doggy so already even in this short time that we've had been on the road for 25 minutes or so we've seen some uh crazy shit <laughs> that's exactly what i was talking about whenever you know i said i wanted to get this thing was all the crazy drivers and stuff that are out here which is just all over the place everywhere and i'm sure that this perspective is way better than this perspective because this perspective you're looking at me and you can see all the cool building stuff behind me but you know this one is just like probably so much better oh this is a fucking mess all right made it finally Yesterday was a very exciting day. Ah, it's raining on me. Ugh, gross. The city finally reopened for indoor dining. Didn't have many indoor diners. People still wanted to sit outside, which, you know, makes sense because it's really pretty outside and feels really nice. And, you know, also some people are still a little timid for going inside, whatever. Which, you know, that's their prerogative. That's fine. I think we were one of the last ones to open. I think everybody else might, might be open. I'm not sure. You know, that just means that... Things are at least getting a little bit better, I hope, and that we'll be able to get back to some semblance of normalcy soon enough. It's exciting, I know. All right, this is always a tricky part right here. So because I have to turn down that street, which is a one-way street, I have to go into that channel right there and basically just wait for all those cars to pull out before I can turn it makes enough room behind me cars to pass but dude sometimes like those big old trucks like that big old liberty construction truck right there come flying past you and it just almost pulls you right up so now this guy's behind me too normally it doesn't take this long all right you're all right you're good come on All 
right. All right, there we are. All right, so that was the ride to work. We'll uh, check in a little bit later, see what it's like on the ride home. All right, this is Parker. Hi. She's going to give me a ride to my bike. Well, I got a couple more minutes before my show ends. Oh, she got a couple more minutes before our show ends. One. Mm. One single, I can't hear before, before Gilmore Girls ends, you're uh, oh, a yeah, little so, crooked there. Yeah, if you're going to change out your indicators, make sure you get the good ones. Don't get them off Amazon. <laughs> So, spend more than fifteen dollars. Seriously, <laughs> I bought three sets: one for the back, one for the front, and then one to replace the one in the back. And now I'm not going to do so. And then this one was full of rust. I'm not sure if you can even see it anymore. But it was full of rust, and it was spraying rust <laughs> all over. So she would get off of the bike with like a white shirt and. <laughs> And be like, what is all over me? What is all this? And we thought maybe it was oil from my bike that was spraying behind her, but no, it was rust. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. <laughs> so this is the Yamaha V Star 250. It is a 2011, but it was bought brand new in 2015 and then bought almost brand new in 2020 by her. Yeah, it was Sitting in a garage for four years. I had 97 miles on it whenever she got it. Upgraded from the scooter PCX150. It's a cool looking bike. I think you should take me. I think I should ride on the back. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, Andale. It's so funny compared to the Harley. This thing is so tiny. It is basically like a little mini version of the harley which it's awesome it's an awesome little bike you know brakes on it are way better than mine just because the brakes are brand new oh, God, <laughs> all right where the hell did i park oh that was my ass oh. slid a little bit really really chase really what you'll be all right it's fine You know, talk all the crap you want about Wish, but I got these saddlebags off Wish, and they are incredible. I think I paid about $13 each for these things, and I got one for this side and one for that side. That bottle holder I made for this out of some scrap leather, but man, they are just awesome little bags. All right. Not that busy of a day today, you know, not as crazy. Um, indoor dining and stuff was not as crazy, not as busy, but you know, it is what it is. It is just day number two, so we'll see what happens. Parker came to come hang out, watch some football, which it's not a very super exciting game considering the teams, but you know, it's still fun to watch football. I'm just glad that something is back. Some sort of normalcy is back. Let's go here, man. Come on, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for this guy. Dude, that was a whole van full of dudes. That was hilarious. All right, ready? Let's go. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. What happened? I have no idea. Did it? Was it dead? Did it die? No, I stalled it, I think. Oh. Man, Parker stalled her bike. I almost just stalled mine, because it is, it's like cold out here, so these things aren't getting very warm. Both our bikes are both carbureted, so it takes a little bit to get these things warmed up. Oh, yeah. Let's just cut that from the video, okay? Let's just cut that from the video, okay? Let's just cut that from the video, okay? These street tacos are fucking amazing. We stopped by here one time a couple of weeks ago maybe a couple of months ago at this point who even knows time has no meaning anymore and got tacos margaritas this place is fantastic and i'm glad that they're open because they're a very good place
Hopefully we can avoid a little bit of craziness, unlike our ride to work today. Oh look, a Revel, it being activated. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Made it. Take your time, ladies. Don't worry. Right. It's cool, man. This thing is great. From what I've experienced, it's just a really, really good camera. It's got kind of that like fisheye kind of look, which, you know, I'm not super, super excited about, but I am glad that at least it's a cool looking camera, something that I can use on trips. Apparently the battery is really good. Oh, and you also, you can charge it while you're using it. What is this BS? because not a lot of cameras kind of allow you to do that. It's kind of like a, you can either charge it or you can use it type thing, or you have to like, you know, so you always have to carry fresh batteries and stuff like that. How can I resist? <laughs> so she has the same shark helmet that I have. It's the same one as the black one that I have. And she also has the same Bluetooth headset, the Shark Tooth Prime in there that I have. And it's okay. It's not amazing, but for the price, like I said in the first video, it's okay. I would definitely, you know, pay a hundred bucks as opposed to something like this, which is like, you know, depending on where you're looking for it, like 320 to 350 dollars. This is a big investment. This is something that you definitely want to do a specific thing with. And I haven't really seen a whole lot of moto vloggers with this type of headset setup. So I'm hoping that it actually turns out really well and that the audio turns out really well and that it's just a good looking cool thing because I'm excited about this thing. And also, you know, as you saw, I was taking snapshots while I was driving, which you have to do take your hand off of the handlebars, but I consistently ride with just one hand on the handlebars at all times anyway. And also I've seen a lot of other people do it, so I'm really not too worried about it. And yeah, so hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Hopefully it's gonna be really cool. I am really excited for this video to go up. I will be working on it diligently to get it out this week. I haven't quite decided on a specific day that I'm going to get videos up because it's really kind of hard with my schedule working, you know, every single day pretty much. I do have two days off, but when you're working 10 plus hours every day, especially during a pandemic, it's kind of difficult to be able to pinpoint exactly when you're going to be able to do stuff. That's why really I've only been recording while I'm going to work because we haven't had the opportunity to go out and do a lot of things. Like I said, I really wanted to head out to Long Island on Tuesday, but unfortunately it rained pretty damn bad and we were not able to get out. So I'm really hoping that maybe this Tuesday we'll be able to do something. Monday it's going to rain again, but that's all right because Monday is Monday Night Football and you best believe I'm going to be watching my Green Bay Packers go put a hurting. So Monday we'll do that. Tuesday we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's a really pretty nice day. Weather says it's going to be really pretty and nice. So we'll be able to go do something. All right, everybody. Well, the rest of the ride home is gonna be pretty boring. So I'll go ahead and cut it here. Thank you so much again for everybody who's watched any of this, anybody who's subscribed, every single person who's watching this video. I love you. I appreciate you. I care about you. And you guys rock my world. If you haven't already, please do so. A like, maybe, or a dislike, like I said. You might not even like this video. Not that big of a deal, whatever. Any sort of interaction, any sort of interaction on YouTube is positive interaction. So if you do like it, if you don't like it, whatever. If you comment, please comment. Doesn't even have to be anything important. You have a YouTube channel, clicking that subscribe button is just crazy, crazy good for us. So hopefully we can build this into something really cool and really fun and not just me rambling to a microphone to and from work. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. See you later.